we frequently will get up in one of the therapy gyms and people will stop and ask them, what, what is this? What are, what are you doing? What, this is amazing. You're upstanding. You're, you look so much taller. <laughs> Everyone has been very, very receptive to it and excited about it. We see the indigo as being appropriate for anyone who has a neurological condition that's affecting their ability to use their legs. The possibilities are really endless. So there's a lot of advantage to the exoskeleton technology, but specifically for indigo that sets it apart from other exoskeleton devices is the fact that it's so lightweight, it's modular, so it comes apart in five pieces, and that's crucial for somebody's independence down the road because they can transport the device by themselves, they can take it off by themselves, they can put it on by themselves. So that's a huge advantage for the person that may consider using Indigo. So the operation and setup of Indigo is extremely efficient. And that helps not only the person that's gonna use the device, but it helps the therapist who's gonna work with the person. So for a therapist to put the Indigo on, it takes about five minutes. And then we go through an instructional uh, session with the patient telling them how it works. If they lean forward and they feel a vibration, after they feel the vibration, they'll stand up. Once they stand, as long as they lean forward, they will continue walking forward. And when they stop leaning forward, then they will stop walking. It's like a legged segue. So it's extremely intuitive and very easy to learn. We can stand individuals who have absolutely no leg movement, which would be something that would take several people to be able to do and it really wouldn't be of any benefit necessarily if they're not able to activate their legs at all. Using the Indigo device I can get people up and moving earlier and provide their nervous system with that input that they so desperately need and with that environment in which they can practice all of these skills very safely and very effectively with just me or with just me and one other individual if someone had maybe more spasticity or had more difficulty with balance it would take far fewer individuals to do an effective training session using the indigo device we have uh, always prided ourselves about being on the cutting edge of what's happening out in rehabilitation and when we began to see the exoskeleton type devices that are used to help people, we felt like there may be a role not only in the rehabilitation process, but also in helping people to with their mobility around their home and in the community. And we felt like as we looked at the different devices out there, we just felt like Indigo was uh, light years ahead of some of the other devices. I think that exoskeletons like the Indigo device will absolutely change the face of rehab and home exercise programs in the future. 